Well, Dave, here you are, um, I think, after over a week now at, uh, at COP28. Been here since the start. I've been here a couple of weeks beforehand as well, so I feel like a local. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. So um, I suppose the, the obvious question, um, how does this compare to previous COPs you've been to? You've been to a few now. Yeah, so this has been, um, for the size of it especially, the best organised COP. Um, it's been very inclusive and it's had, I guess, uh, an element of uh, a big business element to this mm. COP compared mm. with uh, compared with other COPs, mm. which is which is impressive because business is really quicker to act than government. Yeah, yeah. And in terms of, I suppose, the two or three takeaways that you're taking away from this, from looking at it through the perspective of your business, what, what are those takeaways? Yeah, so I guess two or three key takeaways for me would be that um, we, we need to act a lot faster than we, what we are. Mm. We need to cut through the talk and get straight into the action. And that includes the amount of finance that gets tied up funding the talk process versus the outcome process. Mm -hmm. That's, that's quite obvious uh, when you see the number of people involved in getting a decision uh, made. Um, and the challenge in getting uh, text agreed, for example, uh, phasing out uh, versus that key word that we're hearing, unabated, uh, which, which could cause uh, a lot of issues in uh, Dr. Sultan Al Jabir's ambitions to have this all wrapped up 11 o'clock on Tuesday. Good luck. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. And what other, that, that's one, so what would your other thoughts be? So other thoughts would be um, th there is a lot of opportunity to move um, a lot of business into more of a green economy, internal carbon taxing and so on to help drive decision making uh, more easily. Um, in the carbon markets in particular, there's been major uh, improvements, this COP over previous COPs, mm -hmm. with progress. So you've had um, uh, WBCSD um, on one hand and then you've had the IETA science-based target initiatives, you've had ICVCM and so on, all collaborating and agreeing on guidance for the voluntary carbon markets. Mm -hmm. Not only have you had all of this new guidance come out, but you've also had all uh, six of the biggest registries uh, globally, including Gold Standard and Vera, um, agreeing to align to these new standards. Mm -hmm. It may take, again, a couple of years for these things to actually come into practice, which is always frustrating, but at least we can see some light at the end of the tunnel here for, for some of the big challenges in the world in getting finance flowing to developing nations and into uh, projects that will help us pull down some of the carbon while we work on the reduction side. Absolutely. A big New Zealand delegation here this year um, with, the, with the opening up um, of, uh, of badges to uh, non-state actors. Um, thoughts on that? Yeah, look, it's it's been um, impressive to have more of that information flow direct from the horse's mouth or mouths. Um, because there's so much going on at once, to a wider New Zealand community. And that's really useful. Um, it's all, all part of this inclusivity that this COP is supposed to be about. Because, um, you know, no disrespect to the media, but there's only so much that can be reported on. And that secondhand information carries a very different slant than what, if you're here and you're in those plenaries, uh, you can learn a lot more and understand a lot more behind the scenes, the why, than what you can possibly get from um, media who are incentivised to, to sell uh, clickbait and news. So it's quite a different understanding and to bring that level of understanding back into New Zealand I think helps mature our, um, our, our ESG uh, understanding and, and credibility. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, well look Dave, thanks so much for taking the time today. Um, Looking forward to seeing you back in New Zealand and uh, enjoy the, the last few days of the COP. Thanks, Mike, and thanks for all that, uh, that you guys do. Thanks very much.